Good morning. It's Wednesday, July 17, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled Judgment Day, and our scripture is Matthew chapter 25. But when the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, then he will sit on his glorious throne. All the nations will be gathered in his presence, and he will separate the people as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep at his right hand and the goats at his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the creation of the world. For I was hungry, and you fed me. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me into your home. I was naked, and you gave me clothing. I was sick, and you cared for me. I was in prison, and you visited me. Then these righteous ones will reply, Lord, when did we ever see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink, or a stranger and show you hospitality, or naked and gave you clothing? When did we ever see you sick or in prison and visit you? And the king will say, I tell you the truth, when you did it to one of the least of these my brothers and sisters, you were doing it to me. Whatever do you do with an elephant in the room? It's rather difficult to ignore a beast that's 13 feet high and weighs in at 7 tons and eats 300 pounds of veggies out of your fridge every day. But that's a theological reality for many people when the topic turns toward Judgment Day. So many categorically deny a final judgment where unbelievers are consigned to everlasting punishment or hell. Rob Lowe, a quote-unquote Christian preacher at the outset of his rise to rock star status in evangelical circles, at least seemed orthodox. Then came Love Wins, his book unveiling his universalism view that ultimately there is no judgment. God unconditionally forgives and loves everybody forever, believers and unbelievers alike. The question then is, whatever became of sin, punishment, and accountability? It's the new elephant in the room when it comes to passages like Matthew 25 and about 1,259 other chapters in Scripture. So, if Scripture is wrong and Rob Lowe is right, along with the other universalists, atheists, agnostics, and whatever other terms you can dredge up for those who snicker at the thought of an actual judgment day, that must mean that I can live my life the way I want, take whatever I want, ignore whomever is in need, build my empire, exploit the weak, and generally just have a fine time being the master of my fate, the captain of my life ship, and get heaven in the bargain. I can be Joe Osteen, Donald Trump, and Genghis Khan all rolled up in one, and God's going to break into a huge welcoming smile when I hit the pearly gates. Is that it? Or is the truth found in Christian orthodoxy, the faith handed down from Jesus through the apostles, recorded and taught for 2,000 years, not to mention the unquestioned teaching of the Old Testament's 4,000-year history of accountability and judgment for sin? So, is it orthodox truth or the harebrained neo-orthodoxy of the late 20th century that says, just go with my Burger King theology, have it your way. If the harebrains are right, we are all going to have to take a scissors to our Bibles and cut out the last part of Jesus' words recorded in Matthew's Gospel. He said, he will answer, I'll tell you the truth, when you refuse to help the least of these my brothers and sisters, you are refusing to help me and they will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous will go into eternal life. For you today, with so much emphasis these days on unity, with total acceptance of everybody's thoughts or lifestyle, and the vilification of any kind of separation or differences from life roles to unmarked bathrooms, the idea that one person might go to heaven while another winds up in hell is as intolerant an idea for this generation as can be. It's put in the waste bin of rejected, out-of-hand nonsense and unsuitable for rational culture. 
Oh my, that sounds like something of a judgment, doesn't it? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.